municipal tap water, but uh, distilled water is not that hard to find, and if you have an aversion to buying it, you can always make it with a solar distiller or wrap a copper tube around an exhaust manifold and boil the water and capture it and, and, uh, and capture the steam and, and uh, condense it. I mean, it can be made. <laughs> you know, we don't have to buy it, but I'd rather pay, what is it, uh, about 72 cents a gallon at Walmart and there may be other places for distilled water than, and, and considering how much gasoline. I went to California. I drove 6,002 miles in my, my Prius with the hydroxy gas. Okay, it's did it again. <laughs> the, uh, the, the first 1,103 miles was unboosted because I wanted to establish a baseline, trying different fuels, you know, lowest grade, the ethanol, the, the oxygenated ethanol, the high test, all that, just to establish baseline miles per gallon. Then I turned the system on. And I drove the rest of the 6,002 miles with the system on. My average for the entire trip was over 60 miles to the gallon. I used 99.6 gallons of gasoline um, and only a few gallons of water on the entire trip. I calculated what I would have spent for gasoline and <laughs> figured that I saved about 50 gallons of gasoline by buying that couple of gallons of water. So, to answer your question, I mean, it's economic sense. Go down to Walmart and buy a couple of gallons of water, and it goes a long ways. It really does. <laughs> I mean, we get 1,863 liters of gas out of one liter of water. Of course, now, that could be 1,866, it could be 1,862. It depends upon where you are and what your atmospheric pressure is, what you're exactly going to get, but obviously it's going to be around that figure. Because if you're in the higher elevation, you'll get a little more volume, and if you're in lower elevation, you'll get a little less. Yes? Has there been any work for advancing this technology of purifying water? Or purifying water for like the world countries? Uh, or has any system been built to where? Test it out to be, because to me it would be good if you could get the group that drives all that all over the world and turn around and say, here's the system, and they would get on the bandwagon to the banner and say, hey, the system really works. Okay, get this back to work again. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, actually, if you don't mind grunging up the system, if you have a system that that you want to put dirty water into and get clean out of, you can capture the gas and then and then uh, burn it and get essentially distilled water out of it. it. Makes a very good water purification system. You can take the worst water and put it in the system and electrolyze it and capture the uh, the hydroxy gas essentially off of that and combust it and capture the uh, water vapor, condense it, and you've got clean water, pure water. I mean, isn't that what uh, Stan Meyer's brother, Stephen's doing with Exogen up in Canada? They're taking wastewater and, and using that for wastewater treatment. So yeah, that can be, that can be done for that. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, uh, there could be people that, that are working that way. I don't know. I'm not aware of it. You know, I, I try, kind of try to stick a lot to my research. <laughs> you know, um, I try to keep an, keep an ear open as to what's going on around around me in the world, but I don't know everything. Believe me. You know. Sorry. Yeah, uh, thank you so much. I wanted to meet you for a long time, and it's nice to get a chance to get some. Some information from you. You've got a lot of information. So, well, thank you so much for being willing to come. We were, the last time we were hoping you'd make it to the make it to the expo in November when we were there, but nice to, nice to finally have you here. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, I'm sorry the last time I came, or I didn't come because uh, number one, I was in California, and they did offer to fly me back. I just come back from Florida back to uh, California, 
uh, working with a potential manufacturer out there, which uh, turned out to be a bust because uh, it was a Chinese company and they weren't willing to stop cutting corners with, to, and made a dangerous product that I could not endorse. Um, the, uh, the reason I didn't show up was because at that time, you know, Ozzy Freedom was coming and I don't want to be any, I don't want to have anything I do associated with what he does, okay? He's given this industry a, a, a bad name, and I don't agree with that, and I don't want anybody to think that I'm endorsing him by being in an event where he is. Um, but thank you very much. Y'all been great, and uh, I'm glad I came to this event. Thank you.